How do folks? This here is the old mountain man I'm talking at you from the back side of this here lake in the hills of Arkansas. Oh, I'm just enjoying a cup of coffee. Oh goodness, recovering from my trip to the hospital and well, speaking of hospitals and coffee, I had to go visit my stepdad in the hospital whenever he had his his surgery and I was sitting in the surgery waiting room and I asked somebody I said they got any coffee here so I went and yeah they pointed out the coffee pot so I went and got my cup of coffee I thought it was coffee it looked like tea and tasted like salt yeah I've been filtering my water for a got awful amount of years so anytime I drink anything that's made with unfiltered water I taste every damn contaminant there is in it sulfur iron uh, salt whatever if it's if it's got a bad taste I can taste it um I got sick and tired I took about one sip out of that cup of coffee or what was supposed to be coffee at the hospital and I turned to my family and I said, I'm going to go find me a cup of coffee. I don't care if I got to walk in the damn rain. I'm going to find me a cup of coffee. Um, I took off. I said, I got my cell phone with me in case anybody needs to get in touch with me in case something happens, something develops. So I take off. Get downstairs to the parking lot, and I'm looking around, and I see something off in the distance. One of them little gourmet coffee shops. It's called the uh, the Coffee Cup. Uh, coffee Cup Coffee Shop. It's over there just across from Mercy Hospital in Fort Smith. Uh, let see. Rogers Avenue. Mercy Hospital's on Rogers Avenue. Little strip mall over there across from uh, the hospital. And uh, you'll see the AT&T store, cell phone store, and then on back, further back, there's uh, the coffee shop. I walked in, and whenever I got out to the edge of Rogers Avenue, it started pissing and pouring. Oh, man, I walked into that coffee shop uh, dripping wet. And I'm like, y'all have got anything like a New Orleans style cup of coffee, you know, just hot, black, and strong. And uh, the young man behind the counter, he said, no, sir, we don't have anything like that. I said, well, could you kind of throw something together, you know, to make something like that, uh, even though it won't have chicory in it. Which is what I like to drink, but anyway, what this what this young man did, he took a he he brewed up this little bitty tiny cup of coffee called espresso, and then he draws up a a cup of coffee. He asked me about if I wanted a large or medium or small or whatever, and uh. I said, a large, I need a large cup of coffee. After that bad experience at the hospital with their, with that mess, good God, they need to filter their water and put more coffee in the coffee. But anyway, uh, I got around to watching him put this cup of coffee together. It didn't take no time at all. He made that little tiny cup of espresso, poured it in a large cup, drew up some coffee off of uh, one of those decanters, you know, with a little pour spout, and he opens it up, and he hands that to me, and I take a drink, and I said, damn, that's a good cup of coffee. I got that cup of coffee, I paid for that thing, it was, it was a few bucks, you know, being a, a gourmet coffee shop, but, you know, there's just times whenever you'll walk a mile for a camel, camel cigarette. That's what the old saying was way back when. And you'll pay a couple of dollars for a dang cup of coffee. He asked me if I wanted any non-coffee 
products added into it. I said, nah, just take it black. And I uh, said, so I take a slice of that cake over there too. So that was about six bucks all together. I like that coffee so much, I got uh, two more refills, which I was only charged like a buck and a half. So, yeah, buck 25, buck and a half, something like that. I don't remember. And I told him, I said, you know, I really like this little place, and you make a damn good cup of coffee. I'm going to shoot a video for y'all on YouTube. And, and uh, see if I can stir up some business for you. See, business is where I'm treated well. And where I'm treated like a human being, like my opinion matters and, and all. I shoot, you know, I recommend them. I don't always shoot a video for them. Maybe I'll start doing that. Make it a regular thing. You know, recommending businesses and, and retailers and coffee shops and fish and tackle stores and what have you. And by the way, I can't, um... I, um, uh, shit, you ever have one of them brain farts? I did, just now. But anyway, folks, that, uh, that little place, uh, the coffee cup, over on Rogers Avenue, I'll put the address, the phone number, and everything down there in the video description. Just click the show more button, and you'll see the locations in Fort Smith and Poto, Oklahoma. Yeah, well... I better get off here. I gotta go uh, change the dressing on my place where I was operated on. And I'm healing just fine. Be fully functional. Uh, and up and running and doing everything I did before here in the next week or two. And hopefully I'll be shooting more videos. Uh, whoo wee well, for now, this here is Old Mountain Man signing off from the back side of this here lake in the hills of Arkansas. Wishing y'all all the best, and if uh, you want a good cup of coffee, go on by the coffee cup. Tell them the Old Mountain Man sent you. We'll talk with y'all later. Adios for now.